Oh no, no. <laughs> it's all it's all good, man. It happens. So that's the PS3 bundle you're that's talking the about. PS3. Awesome, man. Here, let me go and square away with you. We are at the pawn shop and we came across this God of War Origins collection. And it is complete and they're only asking for six bucks. So I think we're gonna pick this up. I don't think there's anything else that we're gonna pick up today, but I just thought this was pretty sick. Let's go. Another day and another quick trip to the pawn shop. Guys, we picked up God of War Origins collection. They wanted $6 for it. I think it was like $6.41 after tax. I need to double check. I'm almost positive we have this in the collection, but I don't know if our copy has a manual. So this is complete with the manual. Um, so basically we might be able to do a condition upgrade with our copy. If not, if ours is nicer, this is gonna get sold. And this right now, last time I checked, was going for at least 20 bucks, maybe more. Um, these are kind of all over the place and usually it just depends on if it's complete. It depends on the condition and stuff like that, but not a bad little find. Sometimes you just have to keep going to these places over and over again and you might not find anything. You might just walk away with one game. Little by little, that's how you build up those collections. Anyways, let's keep going. Real quick guys, I just had to punch in and let y'all know that we are going to a yard sale in this next segment. There actually wasn't any other yard sales this day. So a lot of the times y'all see like an entire video of just going to yard sales. This was like just one. And I went to a couple other sales and they weren't even like ready. Like I either got there too early. It was a weird day. The weather was weird. I don't know. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get into this footage because we did find something pretty cool. Yard sales. Let's go hit some up. Fingers crossed. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Alright guys, we got this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles desk for five bucks. So sick. All right, guys, we got to talk about that find real quick. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles freaking kids desk. I don't know. They said they wanted five bucks for it. I was like, I don't need this. But then part of me was like, yo, I definitely freaking need this. So crazy random score at the yard sale. I don't really know if it's got like a lot of value. I don't know if it's super old. I don't know if it's something newer, but it's freaking sick. So we'll figure out something for it, I guess. But anyways, let's keep going. We came across a deal on Facebook market. The seller had a few Nintendo Switch games and there was a couple of them that I was after. We negotiated a little bit and we settled on a price. Here's the footage for this pretty cool deal. I got you. 30 yeah, bucks? Yes, cool, sir. man. Yeah, this is the, the main game I wanted. Oh, yes. I've been wanting to play that one for a while. Oh, yeah, it's so. pretty good. Awesome, man. You don't have any like old, like old school type of gaming I stuff, do I wish I did. Just, just yep. the stuff. Just okay. the new stuff. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, hey, thanks again, dude. Sorry it took me a moment to find this place. <laughs> $30. Let's go. All right, guys. I love those little deals. They don't have to be like crazy by any means, but you get to add like one or two games to the collection and you don't spend a lot of money. Freaking amazing. So first things first, we have this game called Man Eater. This is actually a game that I have been wanting to check out now. This isn't a game that I had to like go and pick up day one. Y'all know most games are not like that here on this channel, but I heard enough people talking about it. It looked interesting from what I've seen. So I'm definitely excited to check it out and basically spent about $15 per game since we spent $30 total. Not too bad. I don't think it's really worth that much more than that, to be honest, but hey, we get to check it out. And if we don't like it, we'll sell it off. All right, guys. And the game that I really, really wanted, like I didn't even have to have the other game, but I kind of picked it up anyways, just because it looked like it'd be fun. We finally got it, guys. Pokemon Legends Arceus. I can say this game is a lot of fun from the very few hours I've put into it so far. You guys have probably heard me talking about wanting to play this game at some point. We finally found it and we didn't have to spend much money. So $15 for this game, it's a pretty good deal. And guys, this game is freaking 
beautiful. It, it reminds me a lot of the same style of graphics that we saw with Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I remember seeing that game thinking, oh, a lot of other Switch games are gonna be able to do like this with the graphics. And I feel like a lot of other games were like, nah, <laughs> we're not doing all that. But Pokemon, Arceus, when this game came out, oh man, like they did it right. I feel like every Pokemon game from here on out, at least in this like type of series, is probably gonna look this good. And I don't know, they've done a bunch of newer things that I feel like haven't been done yet in the Pokemon series. So from what I've played, it's a lot of fun, but I can't wait to play it a little bit more. Anyways, guys pretty good deal let me know if it's something that y'all would have picked up below let's keep going guys it is a brand new day and we came across a brand new deal we were checking facebook market it's pretty much what we do multiple times a day that's how you find the deals you got to jump on them quick and we came across a bundle I'm not gonna say what it is but the guy also had another bundle so sometimes if you see someone selling one item check their profile they might be selling other stuff too and this is a great opportunity to negotiate and kind of get like a collection buy if you will so we're ending up with two pretty sweet bundles let's check it out oh no <laughs> it's all it's all good man it happens so that's the ps3 bundle you're that's talking the about PS3. i just got the ps3 in there okay this cool. has got the games and everything you're the talking games, about games the remote controls oh the nice two ps4 games okay cool and it's got all the weeks in there. Awesome, man. Here, let me go and square away with you. If you want to double check it, 80 bucks. And I'm sure everything else is in there. Yeah, if I have any issues, I'll send you a message. Yeah. All right, All right man. Dude, you, don't, you don't have any older gaming stuff by chance, do you? I'm a sucker for like the older Nintendo and Sega and that's, stuff like that. Uh, that's pretty That's all the last. Okay. We've been cleaning out all of our stuff. Okay. And, uh, you know, I've been selling a few things here and there that I've been finding, but that's like, I think the last, the last of, of it. Have a good one. All right, guys. Thanks again, man. See you. All right, everyone, back in the game room. Let's take an up close look at everything that we just picked up. So as a little rule of thumb, before I bring stuff into the house, I usually swap the bag out with this like Ikea bag or just something else. It's just a lot easier to carry, especially when you buy gaming stuff. You never know what kind of like bugs are gonna be crawling on these like dusty consoles that you pick up. So just a little tip from me to you, like I like to switch the bag out. If things come in cardboard, I usually get rid of that cardboard board before it gets into the house anyways guys here are the two bundles there's a bunch of games in here we got controllers we got a little bit of everything let's go over the ps3 stuff first and then we'll dive into this wii stuff over here we've had a couple of people commenting about how hard it is to find these controllers nowadays not like super super hard but it is getting more and more difficult it seems like almost every time you go and pick up a ps3 bundle it's getting harder to find the dualshock 3 so this actually comes with two of them which is freaking amazing and then you got a bunch of these are the type of the <laughs> these are the type of controllers that you will see more often i feel like whenever you pick up ps3 bundles and i mean if you like third-party controllers hey it is what it is i'm not really a big fan of the third-party stuff usually it just doesn't work as well as the original but i don't know drop a comment and let me know if these are something that you might want to hold on to me personally i probably would just trade these into the game store or maybe even just like lot all of these up together do a little bundle on ebay i don't really see you getting much money for this type of stuff just because it is third party but mm, maybe like 15 dollars. i don't know maybe not maybe nothing but <laughs> maybe just use it as trade stuff at your game store guys let's go over the games y'all know we love the games here on this channel we have star wars we have the force awakens the lego game so much fun we have Twisted Metal. Please give us a new Twisted Metal game. It has been way too long. The fans need a new game. Yeah, come on now. Oh yeah, Twisted Metal Returns. Come on, but PS3, we need something new. And it better be on PS4, because I don't have PS5 yet. Next up, we have Wheel of Fortune. Big money. <laughs> Never noticed that on there. That's kind of funny. I don't know why, but it is. Next up, we have Medal of Honor Limited Edition cool 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 we do have a couple of random ps4 games i don't know why there was no ps4 so maybe he just wanted to downsize some of the games he had but bendy and the ink machine i've heard a lot of good things about this game i don't know if it's a game i would love particularly but i would definitely try it out and kind of go from there just the the art style the graphics just look really really awesome to me so bendy and the ink machine we'll be adding this one to the collection 
at least for now. After we play it, we will decide. Another game I've never played. We have Dragon Quest Builders, and this is Dragon Quest Builders 2. So never played the first one, definitely never played the second. Feel like this is one of those like super addicting type of games where you raise a farm, I guess, and I don't know. <laughs> I just really don't know what this game is about, but I'm assuming it's gonna be as addicting as Minecraft. So games like this, I kind of I'm on the fence with. Like I usually want to play every game I pick up, but a game like this, I know I'm gonna get sucked into, and then it's gonna be like a hundred hours later. I don't know. We will see. I'll probably still play it anyways. And yeah, we'll complain about it at a later date. Next up, we have Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Shuck, drop, slaughter, pit. Oh, yeah, look at the cover. This thing is kind of sick. Funny enough, we actually picked up a loose copy of this game not too long ago. I don't remember which episode it was, um, but now we have it in the case, which is freaking awesome. So we will probably sell off our loose copy, and then we will add this one to the collection. Next up, we have a PS3 console i'm not sure which one this is let's check the serial on the back it is the cech 2101a model um some of y'all are probably like bro why are you looking at the model number this is a good way to find out like how big the storage system is and just whenever you're looking stuff up on ebay if you're looking to flip or whatever just want to know the values that's always kind of important right there to know so definitely look that up but yeah we will have to check and see if there is a bonus game in here but before we do that let's dive into some power cables just kidding let's see what we got over here oh yeah y'all know we love picking up nintendo wii stuff i guess we can go over this stuff first so we have two wii motion plus remotes these are always awesome to come across great remotes and just you know if you already have them you know you obviously do well sometimes you want to have extras for the collection but if not these are great items to just bundle up and either trade trade with a friend trade at the game store or you can just sell on ebay so whatever floats your boat next up we have toy story three for the nintendo wii i don't think there is a yeah no i was gonna say i don't think there's a manual in this one you can usually kind of pick it up and tell it's feeling a little light next up we have lego star wars let's make sure it's in there probably should have done this with the ps3 games but before we put all this stuff into price charting i will definitely go through everything and see if there's manuals and stuff like that next up we have oh this is such a great wii game to have here we have super mario all-stars and it just comes with a bunch of games this thing is freaking rad so got that one next up we uh okay oh yes bonus game let's go we have super mario bros wii and then we also have donkey kong country returns so that is freaking awesome some great games to have a lot of fun i feel like if you're looking to build a wii collection you gotta have these like these two are like staples for the wii in my opinion next up we have crash mind over mutant i feel like we keep coming across this game now oh you know what no i'm thinking of crash uh it's like of the tight it's like something with titans in it i forget the name i don't know if we have this one mind over mutant huh well adding that one to the collection i guess <laughs> and are you smarter than a fifth grader make the grade uh, hopefully, but <laughs> I guess we'll have to play that one and find out. Next up, what do we got in here? Looks like a bunch of junk. We just have the Wii console. This is the GameCube backwards compatible system. And guys, y'all know we get to play a quick mini game of Is There a Bonus Game? We gotta check the Wii, and then we also gotta check the PS3, so... Let's plug them up real quick and let's check it out. All right, everyone, is there a bonus game? Uh, let's find out. Three, two, one. Come on, come on. Yeah! Oh, so sick. This is a really good bonus game to have. Oh my gosh. I bet some people are watching this like, bro, you could have put anything in there. You could have put a copy of Rule of Rose in there. Like, trust me, I will never do something crazy like that. But yo, this is amazing. Mario Party 9. For real though, imagine if we hit eject and for some reason Rule of Rose on the PS2 pops out. That would be freaking insane. Y'all, this right here is already pretty insane. Mario Party 9 as a bonus game. That might be the best bonus game I think we have ever pulled out of a Nintendo Wii. 
Now guys, we gotta check the PS3. Alrighty y'all, we got the PS3 hooked up. Beep, let's turn it on and let's check and see if there's a bonus game. Come on, something crazy. Why are we gonna press it again? I don't know. No bonus game. We got all of this stuff right here, the two controllers and the PS3 console plugged into price charting. But I wanted to mention that we did not put this in. This is only worth around five bucks. So keep that in mind if you want. We're looking at a potential value of $213. Most notable thing on here would be the PS3. The DualShock 3 controllers always have some pretty good value. Um, and then Deadpool, Lego Star Wars, Twisted Metal, and Dragon Quest all have some pretty decent value. So. Some stuff we're definitely gonna sell off and then some stuff we're gonna add to the collection. Let's check out the next screen. All right, everyone, we got, oh yeah, shout outs to the toe, helping me out. <laughs> we got all of the Wii stuff right here, the two Wii remotes, and then the Wii console all in the price charting. And we are looking at a potential value of 194. Uh, the most notable thing on here would be Mario Party 9, which was actually the freaking bonus game. That was amazing. Of course, the Wii and then the Motion Plus remotes, those always help. Um, but yeah, some pretty good stuff and some pretty decent value. We did not spend too much, so that is always freaking awesome. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. I know the deals weren't like super insanely crazy. I know sometimes it's a lot of fun to go out and get like a crazy grail or something wild at the end of these episodes, but I just try to keep it real with y'all. Sometimes you have a week and you do find some pretty good stuff, but it's not like, oh, we got this freaking box over here from a yard sale. Like that's just not the reality of it. So I try to show a little bit of everything, but I will say I really do love deals like this where you don't spend too much money and you end up getting a bunch of good value. So after months of collecting or even years of collecting, you're gonna start coming across the same stuff. You're gonna be coming across PS3 bundles, Wii bundles, like Xbox stuff. But honestly, at that point, it does get exciting because then you go, huh, well, I already have this and that, and I have that too, but I definitely don't have that game. So we can sell off a few things and add that game to the collection. We can add this other game to the collection. And that's honestly, I feel like the best way to do it. So just be patient. Those deals will come. You just have to stay persistent. You have to just keep going after them. Keep checking those Facebook market listings because they're just popping off at any moment of the day. And it can be super random. It can be in the middle of the night. Like you just never know. Anyways, guys, drop a comment and let me know what your favorite thing was. If you have not, please hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps out with the channel. Guys, until next time, I appreciate all of y'all. Peace.